I'll just share a little bit about African American studies at Cal State Fullerton. I am Natalie Graham. I'm the chair of African American studies. I am, I've been here about eight years and I wanted to just share a little bit about what's new with African American studies, what is African American studies, and if folks do pop in, um, then we can have a Q&A session after. So firstly, African American studies is a, um, an emphasis within, it's an option within the ethnic studies major at Cal State Fullerton. So the degree will say an ethnic studies major with a option in African American studies. And African American studies at Cal State Fullerton is an interdisciplinary major that um, was created historically out of a need to intervene in the traditional um, academic structure that excluded African Americans from consideration um, in the traditional disciplines in the academy and and literally the presence I mean you know with segregation um, that our presence was excluded from those academic spaces as well. So it's not just a research intervention, it's also a presence and culture uh, intervention. And although we are an interdisciplinary major, which means when you think of what is interdisciplinary, that means that we go beyond um, some of the confines, the limitations, the preoccupations with any one traditional discipline as we conduct research and creative activities. It doesn't mean that some of us weren't trained in a traditional discipline, but that does allow us to adapt different strategies for answering questions that might not be um, traditionally expected in any given discipline. So you do see that in a lot of the work we do and a lot of the courses that we teach. Um, and our faculty, in in our faculty, although we are interdisciplinary, we do have particular strengths. So if we, when I think about what our disciplinary strengths are as a department, we're strong in disciplines like sociology, history, creative writing, music and performance, and women and gender studies. And you really do see that strength represented in the courses that we teach and in the courses that we like to focus on. We are expanding. We are, I'm so excited that we are hiring three new full-time faculty this year. We have a faculty whose focus will be in black performance and music, faculty whose focus will be in wellness, mental health, and um, another faculty member who, will, who really focuses on black education, activism, and social justice. So one of the things that I'm truly excited about in African American studies is the fact that we are continuing to grow, we are expanding, we are a major um, that we will start to see more and more um, majors and more and more faculty and support. So that's one thing I do appreciate about African American studies at Cal State Fullerton. Some of the other things that are happening. Um, we have some new courses as part of the new ethnic studies requirement that you'll probably be hearing a lot about, we decided to develop, develop some new courses. We wanted to make sure that the offerings for that ethnic studies requirement were very rich and diverse and did focus on or really emphasize some of the creative arts. We knew that there would be a lot of emphasis around social, um, social sciences, but we wanted to make sure that was balanced out with humanities and creative arts with the ethnic studies requirement. So some of the new courses that we have starting in the fall are Introduction to Black Creative Expression, which is, allows students to have a multi-genre, multimodal introduction to creative expression. That means film, literature, music, um, the, you know, broad range of African-American um, creative expression. We have another course that will be starting in the fall called Black Lives Matter, Creative and Critical Ideas. And we wanted to think about how can we think about where Black Lives Matter comes from? What's the historical context for that movement? Um, how does it tie back to earlier movements? How is it not just an, a, a call for activism and public action, but also a call for imagination and, and creativity? So that's really what that class is about, even looking at some of the ways that activists have used art um, to make change in their communities and nations. 
Another course that we are starting in the fall is Black environmentalism, thinking about the built environment, thinking about um, environmental racism, how the places that people of color are often relegated to or pushed into have low health outcomes because of the environment, the environmental um, factors around them. Another course is Black recreation. How have Black folks have, how have Black folks had access to or limited access to recreational spaces, to rest, to public spaces, to parks, to beaches? Um, that is really the center of that course. What does it mean to be Black in America and be able to experience or engage in recreational practices? And then finally, Black Latinx experience. Um, although Black, the Black Latinx course has been on um, um, the books for a while, this will be the books for a semester, this will be the first time that we have the opportunity to teach it this fall. So we're really excited about the new, those new courses. We're excited about the way that our curriculum is building and growing um, to both be in response to and create um, new possibilities for thinking around African-American culture, history, people, um, and life. A couple of things, a couple of new ways we will be supporting our students. We're super excited about a new scholarship that we will, that will start this semester and will be continuing. Um, we were able to get um, by anonymous donation, a, um, an endowment for a student scholarship. So every year we will award a $1,000 scholarship to a major, a continuing student who's a major in African-American studies who has demonstrated some ongoing service to the department. So we really do want to make sure that students from the beginning are engaging the department, are working to um, connect with us um, and so that we can get to know you and we can help build you and help, help you develop as a scholar and a student. We will also be offering a $500 scholarship for majors and minors. That's the Charlene Riggins Scholarship in honor of a beloved colleague, Charlene Riggins. Um, and that's for open to all continuing majors and minors. Um, we also have a new Institute for Black Intellectual Innovation, which I'm really excited about as well. I'm the director of that institute. Um, I will put that information in the chat if folks are hopefully will be able to access it at a later point. Um, and you can connect with us um, on IG or Facebook at I-B-I-I-C-S-U-F. So you'll get a chance to keep in touch with us, you know, participate in our giveaways, participate in our trivia, um, learn about the events we're having and just engage with the platform um, and sort of build this um, culture of intellectual innovation on campus at Cal State Fullerton. So we're really excited about that institute. We're excited about connecting with our students and having our students connect on and off campus for opportunities with that program. One of the things that I'm truly excited about with that program is the fact that we have an ongoing um, creative research fellow as part of that program. And our creative research fellow connects with the UAker program, connects with Monkey Business Cafe, and is able to get a $3,000 $3, stipend um, to do an independent research project um, in the spring. So it's another opportunity for a student to connect with a faculty, connect with other departments on campus, and connect with folks off campus to get that hands-on learning and training. We also are truly excited about the possibilities of growth. We want to, whether you're interested in social sciences, humanities, technology, um, mental health, social justice, FAM makes a great option for a major, a double major or a minor. And so I really invite you to connect with me, my email address, I will also put that in the chat um, and then I'll say it aloud just in case folks aren't able to access it in the video. My email is ingram, N-G-R-A-H-A-M at fullerton.edu. And again, my name is Natalie Graham. I'm the chair of African-American studies. I'm the director of the Institute of Black Intellectual Innovation. And I'm really excited to meet um, any folks interested in African-American studies. If you're not sure about it, if you're, if you're 
dedicated to another major and you don't know if or how it fits into your academic career, I would be happy to talk with you and connect you to um, our undergraduate uh, advisor in the fall. So please do reach out. We're happy to support students, whether they're majors or not. So if you have questions, you know, you're confused about navigating the campus, we're also here for that as well. So please do reach out. I'm so excited and I'm grateful um, to be able to meet you at least virtually so you can see a face and hopefully in the fall or in the spring, we'll get a chance to meet together in person. Have a good one. Bye now.